it would go something like this. 16 year old me, this is probably cheating. People don't get to know the future and this is me revealing it to myself. It was hard for me to do this because there's days I still feel like you. Days when all the growth is eclipsed and no lines are drawn between present and past. Today, I still feel like you. Today, I am breaking in places I thought I had held together. I just hope you know you are tough enough to survive the darkness. Because you will have to battle it time and time again. You will have to wrestle it to the ground and pin it down with hallelujahs. You will have to fight. You will have to learn the art of death and resurrection. You will have to drink, but you will grow from the cracks in your skin to be at peace. You will survive this. 16 year old, you gave your heart to a boy who was too weak, too child, too lover, too lazy to love you in return. He told you to let down your hair, you told him to climb up you, Rapunzel, you threw open your towers to a boy who just wanted to take and take and take so there was nothing left worth taking. When he was done healing on the elixir of your brokenness, he ripped the hair from your scalp and rode off into the sunset to find Cinderella, the witch could not put you together again, Humpty Dumpty, you hate yourself for being too weak, to trust in so openly loving, you hate yourself when you see him in church, in school, he haunts you like a ghost, you laugh louder when he's around just so he can see that he did not break you, that you're alive, that you remember how to laugh but he doesn't even notice, he's too busy living happily ever after. 16 year old me, you will survive this, you will learn to find love in places worth searching, in yourself, in God. In friends that stick closer than sisters, you will learn to love without turning yourself to a trampoline. So, this is nothing to worry about. Girl, people will say you are too skinny to be beautiful. People will say you are so skinny, you should model. Madeline will say you are not skinny enough. You will wonder where the lines lie between just right and so much, but you have nothing to worry about. You are so skinny and so beautiful. So beautiful, you do not need the front page of Vogue to prove it. In two years' time, you will have embraced your body so tight that the next time someone throws shade on your size, you will tell them that thinness is not sickness, that curves do not a woman make. When the boy tells you you need to put on flesh so your bride price can increase, you will tell him you do not want a bride price in the first place. That the worth of a woman is so far removed from money that its worth can never be measured in a million years. Still afraid to call yourself a writer. Still afraid to raise your hand. Still afraid to speak. I know that your biggest fear is that your dreams will turn to vapor. That the world will move forward and leave you behind, but you have nothing to worry about. In two years' time, you will stand in front of a crowd and hold them captive with your words. You will craft truth with your hands and unleash it in sound. You will tell your stories. You will build a castle with sweat and blood and tears, but it will be all yours. You will turn this world right side up when you learn that there is God within you. When you unleash the courage that is within you, you will rise and fall and break and be built because that is what growth looks like. If I could send a letter to the past that sent it to my sister, Self. I'll tell her that she is bold and brave and beautiful, that her afro would get bigger, but she will not grow taller even though she will try. I'll tell her 